Welcome everyone to our Divine Mercy Chaplet for today. I'm Father Michael Slovak. As you see me on Facebook, I'm Father Michael Wayne Slovak. And just uh, something kind of funny, we're about to we're about to celebrate Pentecost, which is simply a con confirmation. Everyone, when they receive the sacrament of confirmation, is getting the gift of the Holy Spirit like the apostles got at Pentecost. And I remember when I was confirmed, I wanted to be named after John the Evangelist, St. John of the Gospel of John. Well, typically, the name would go at the very beginning. It should be uh, John Michael Wayne Slovak. But I very much wanted it to be in the middle so I could be Michael John Wayne Slovak. And not that I like Westerns that much, but my dad likes Westerns. So I like them by... <laughs> and actually, the Westerns have been growing on me recently. Um, there's very few channels you can leave your TV on anymore. And so EWTN and the Western channel are the two that my TV goes back and forth. Um, I tape everything, and so I get on and watch news and fast forward and so there has to be the channel that it comes on on when you're before you go to your videos and mine right now is westerns so i hope everybody is having a wonderful saturday it's absolutely beautiful here in north dakota we've had some cold days but it's warming back up we're supposed to be in the 70s and 80s next week and uh, we've been in the 50s for the last few days so and this is the perfect weekend for it to be warmed up because this is our graduation weekend. And I know from my family back home that there's graduations taking place in Texas too. But um, typically this weekend, everything shuts down anyway because ever, all the graduates have their parties. And of course, it's a great big weekend of celebration. So um, this year, I don't think it's an exception, even with the coronavirus. Um, I'm blessed that they asked me to do the prayers at the graduation tomorrow. And so um, this actually relates. Tomorrow, graduation is at 2 p.m. And so I will probably do a post for this Divine Mercy Chaplet tomorrow because I don't think the graduation will be done in one hour. But maybe it will. We'll see. Um, we're going to be having our graduation on the football field. And I heard rumors that we'll be in the back of pickups. Or, I don't know. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. And so now let us begin our Divine Mercy Chaplet. I've rambled on enough to give everyone a chance to arrive. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Divine Mercy Chaplet is asking God's mercy for each of us individually, for our families, for our communities, for our nation, and for our world. But especially, let's ask this mercy for our graduates, those that are about to take that next step, that next, enter the next stage of their lives for God's protection and for God's guidance for them. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. And the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is consumed, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose from the dead, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The second decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The third decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, soul and divinity of our dearly beloved, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The fourth decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The fifth and final decade of our Divine Mercy Chaplet. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for joining me today for this Divine Mercy Chaplet. It, uh, it's exciting, <laughs> not just having the nice weather outside, but um, you may have heard me say it yesterday at Mass, but um, yesterday our governor in North Dakota brought the, uh, the level down another stage. So um, in North Dakota, we have five stages, critical... Well, I can't remember the critical, bad, <laughs> moderate, low, and the new norm, the the no no um, threat. And we went from moderate to low yesterday. And so um, I'm in anticipation waiting for our bishop to say something in the next uh, two days, Monday or Tuesday, and to see if we'll be able to ease more restrictions in our church. And so, um, but also congratulations out there. I know my family in Beaumont, this is going to be their first Sunday that the churches are open. Um, of course, they don't, I'm sure that uh, they're not required to go, but it's good to know that many churches are opening today for this Sunday. And, um, and here we're excited to see what might happen with this lowering of the threat level that happened yesterday on Friday. And so... Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. 
Tomorrow, I will most likely be posting this pre-recorded. That's because I'm going to be giving the prayers at the graduation um, here in Dunseith. And that starts at 2. And I don't think it finishes before 3. Um, and then we have a wake tomorrow evening that I'll be setting up for as well. So exciting times, busy weekend. And I hope you are all doing well. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, protect you, guide you, love you, and send his Holy Spirit upon you during this Pentecost feast day, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. God bless you.